In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the file made in my webcast simulation tutorial with blend for webs project manager to make a project and to add a few lines of code and to use the project to generate a zip file that contains all the files that need to be uploaded to the internet. The starting point for this tutorial is the file I made in the tutorial on making a car simulation in just over five minutes. You can download the file from my website or you can follow the tutorial and make the file yourself. Click Render Properties, click the Set Recommended Options button, click the Project Manager button, click Hide Stop Projects and Create New Project. Call the new project My Simple Car. Scroll down and click Create Project. And back to Projects. Scrolling down to find the new project. When Project Manager makes a new project, it fills it with a dummy Blender file and JSON file. If I click the link for the HTML file, the scene that is loaded is from the dummy JSON file. We need to overwrite the Blender file and use it to overwrite the JSON file. Going back to Blender, File, Save As, go to the Blend for Web folder, the Projects folder, the My Simple Car folder, Blender, click on the Blender file and click Save As to overwrite it. To overwrite the JSON file, File Export, Blend for Web JSON, make sure you're in the project's My Simple Car Assets folder, click on the JSON file and click Export to overwrite it. Going back to Project Manager and clicking the link for the HTML file, the car scene loads, but when I press any of the W, A, S, D keys, the camera moves, not the car. To get the car to move, we have to add three lines of code. Click the edit link. Click the link for the JavaScript file, the .js file. These are the lines of code. You can copy them from my website or type them in. The first line has to be added to the import modules. Highlight the line, right click, copy, click, right click, paste. Scrolling down, I'm looking for a comment that says place your code here. Select the remaining two lines, right click and copy. Click, press the Tab key, right click and paste. Click and press the Tab key. We don't want to enable the camera controls, so I'm going to insert two slashes so that the line is ignored. Click Save and Back to Projects. Clicking on the HTML file, the car scene loads and now we can use the WASD keys and the arrow keys to control the car. Click on the Build Project and Deploy Project links to generate a zip file that contains the files that need to be uploaded to the internet. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.